Hi, I'm Luke Jeffreyon at the Rise Center in Seaplast. So today we're here at our dynamic shear rheometer. Um, it is a parallel plate geometry. So basically you're taking two plates or two basically like a pieces of bread and you're basically sandwiching them, putting some jelly between them and then just turning it and kind of seeing how that affects the properties that are, that are inside the jelly. And so we do this for all of our modified bitumen blends. Modified bitumen is basically just an asphalt and polymer together and that gives us our kind of waterproofing and elasticity that we need. So by adding the polymer into those blends, we end up getting, that's how we get our elastomeric kind of compounds. So that's how we get the long elongation and things that we like out of our products. So we load our samples in these molds. We pour hot bitumen into this. We're gonna take it and then we're gonna set it into the DSR here. We're gonna put, press it down. Just make sure it's kind of centered into the end of there. And then we're gonna raise the temperature of that to about 90 C and we're gonna let that heat up. Now this is stopped, we're gonna go ahead and trim off the excess part of this. And so we're just gonna trim right around the edge. And pull, and you can see the nice elasticity that we used to have out of the blend there. Real good stuff. So one of the things that we do with the DSR is to assess the elastic properties of our modified bitumen blends. And so we do this through a physical property of the material known as the elastic modulus. And so this elastic modulus, generally we want to be in a, in a defined range that's, that works good for us. And so one of the things that we notice that as the blend ages is that this modulus tends to increase. And so as these modulus increases, that means that the material becomes more brittle and it becomes harder. And so as bitumen ages, it becomes oxidized and so it becomes more brittle and it becomes easier for it to break. And so one thing that we need to do with modified bitumen though, is to be able to mitigate those effects. And so we mitigate those effects by basically lowering the filler content that's in our blends and then actually increasing how much polymer that we have in there. And so basically making sure that that polymer can last for a really, really long time. And so that we have really good elongation properties 30 years down the road.